Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Yo, uh, yo, salute, salute, Mark Curry. Uh, yes, this, sir. Uh, Big Chuck from uh, Duff for the Cloud Chaser. I got a question for you. Like, I heard rumors about uh, Diddy allegedly being behind the deep portion of uh, getting Sean deported. The high oh, yeah. that happened that night with Jennifer Lopez. Is there some truth right. to that? Can you explain it? Ah, uh, man, look. If Sean came home from prison, right? If Sean came home from prison and was able to come out and say what happened that night in the club, what led him to having to go to prison, they would have said, so did he? He didn't do nothing. Did he just turn around and said it was him, pointed the finger at him, pointed the finger at him. He took the blame, went to prison. Then when he got out of prison, they said instead of letting him out to tell his story, deport him. And don't let nobody do any. When he came home from prison, did you see anybody interviewing him? Like, Sean, you're finally home. How do you feel? They they just like shit on him. They put him to Belize. And then he went to Belize. And you was like, damn, we ain't never really get, got a chance to see Sean again or hear from him again. So with that being said, that just lets you know what the power is like. It was like, damn. And then he turned around after a few men, years later and then went and did something, went and got into the politics. And they was like, they let him come back. And they, they was never going to let him touch foot on the United States soil again. Hey, just one more follow-up question to that. Um, was he, was he, did he get paid? Did, did he give him any money? All right, let me get y'all the game. L.A. Reid went into Belize and gave Sean an X amount of millions of dollars for a record deal that Sean never came out with a record deal. So what was said was that they already knew Sean wasn't going to have a record deal, but the money that L.A. Reid went over there and gave him was the money that Puff was giving him. And so it looked like it was a record deal, but then he did a record deal and never had an album. They was like, fuck your album, fuck you. Take this money and you roll with that. He gave him some money, but he couldn't go give him no money. Like he go from me to you. He had to make it look like it was coming from somebody else. So that somebody else, you know, that's why it's a lot of crookedness that goes on in the industry because we don't never know the L.A. Reid and his relationships with the Clive Davises and the Puffies and the Jermaine Dupree's and the Dallas Austins and the baby faces and all of that. You understand? Cause when, when they, when you talk about absolute control, them motherfuckers right there, you know, uh, Pimp C said it the best. And we're going to put out something on Pimp C so we could talk about why Pimp C got murdered. Pimp C got murdered by talking uh -oh, about- Uh-oh, uh-oh. Y'all better stop playing with me. And I'm just uh -oh, thought we gonna do. We're uh -oh. not gonna play no more. Yo, we're not, hold on, hold on, we're not hold on, gonna play no more. Ahead, nah, we can't. Cause oh, yo, man. is that Hocus saying uh oh? Is that Hocus saying uh oh, 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 oh? Nah, that ain't that ain't me. But I'm yeah. listening. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to hear Pimp C theory of it. In the comments, and let me know what you think. It's definitely Cloud Chaser TV. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Share this on Facebook and Twitter. Okay.